this is the California Build Party stage. There's a steel case in this hydraulic press, and the shooter is seated here in this chair, hands on each side of the press. They stand up at the buzzer and crush that steel case until it's shorter than a 9mm. And they will acquire their rifle here, a magazine from here of 10, proceed around here, load, engage those targets, unload or remove the magazine, grab a magazine from here, come here, engage these targets, and that one hidden there, dump the mag, grab a mag, engage that target, that target, and the remaining here, they should have just enough ammunition to not run out. Good enough for a pat. Good. All right, so this is our third stage. This was the first one running around on a lot of paper. Yeah. It's kind of unique in that you had four 10 round mags loaded and you could really strategize how you use those mags. There was a whole ton of implied strategy to the, how you were gonna shoot this, this stage. This stage, in my opinion, was more stage planning and math than it was shooting. It was tricky. One hit in the A or B zone, which is the head or the center, mm -hmm. or two hits anywhere on the target. Yep. So in addition to keeping track of which targets you've engaged and which you haven't, you have to decide, am I gonna fire two rounds on every target? Which means my magazines will go for five targets each. Am I gonna shoot one round per, then it goes for 10 targets, or some mixture of the two. Now when I did it, I looked at this, the, at the very beginning there's a cluster of five targets, mm -hmm. and so, and, and a magazine right there. That one's an obvious tip. Right. Yeah. Either, whatever you do, either one shot or two on each of those, but then reload. And you grab your mag and you move to the next port while reloading. After that, you've got 10 targets left. I was trying to formulate a, the best strategy I could, and then, like, two minutes before shooting, I went, bleh. one shot, each target, 10 rounds. I'll have one in the gun, so I'll, have, I'll reload a mag of 10. I'll have 11 rounds, 10 targets. And I'll just make sure I take enough time to get a, a center hit on every target. And that worked pretty well for me. Yep. So. What I, my first look at this is I was just going to take 10 rounds out of each magazine and reload three times and not care. It's going to go doubles on that, doubles on that, doubles on that. And I had a strategy in my head of how to do that. And I got talked into this, not by you, right, by someone else. So a better way, and the way you're going to reduce your time is by reducing your reloads, which you did do by your single yes. shots. So this, I got talked into this better way. And the better way was doubles on the first way, then headshots on the big targets, doubles on the minis. And then if you did that right, and you got each and every headshot, then you only have to reload one extra time total. Right. And that was it. And so I, I started that. I go over there. First of all, I don't think this way. I really don't. Like, I go into the tactical drafting and like, double shoot everything. Like, right. that's just how I think. And so I tried to do this. So I did the first array, no problem. Second array, everything was cool to the last headshot. I shot it and I went, that might not have hit. I don't know if I got that. I wasn't sure because of the bore offsets of thing. And I'm looking at it and I kind of look and I saw, this is wasting time. I saw a cut in the head and I didn't know if it broke the perf. I don't want to leave a target uh, not neutralized. Right. That's a bad thing. So I went ahead, grabbed the extra mag, 
reloaded, went back. Well, well by, by clicking once though first, I, I noticed you tried once, to hit a second round on it. Which I didn't have. So then I reload, go back to that target, and then went back and finish. Well, guess what? That doing that against my petting the cat against its grip of its fur did not work for me, and I landed up with a pretty crappy time. In, in the grand scheme of things. Clearly crappy. It was longer than mine. Well, <laughs> it, it was longer than... It was not what it should have been. Right. I honestly... Even if I had not worried about an extra reload and I had done my normal double them all, don't care about it, I would have had a better time. What we have here, I think, is an interesting question or an interesting look at self-assessment of skills. Because mm -hmm. when I did this, I realized my reloads were not really all that fast. Okay. Especially these Bulgarian converted mags, they work great but they're a little bit tight. And you, with some of my other AKs, I can just jam a mag in and it'll always work. This one, not quite. Um, and my shot-to-shot -shot splits mm -hmm. are, they're not bad, yeah. but they're not like serious three-gunner good. Right. Now, so for me, the idea of take the extra time to get a good hit on every shot and then minimize the number of reloads and the number of second shots. Yes. Split times. yes. That is the optimal solution for me. Yep. For you, and you had this idea corrected first, and then you got you convinced yourself to change it. Uh -huh. For you, with your gear and your skill set, yep. your mag changes are pretty damn fast. They're not. They're good enough. Your splits are really fast. With a 12-pound AK mm -hmm. in 545 and a red dot, for you to you can probably double the targets faster than I can single shot them. Maybe. So the well, but what I'm getting at is the idea of I'm going to go as fast as I can, and I will sacrifice accuracy because I've got two shots. And the chances of me making missing, you know, having a penalty with two shots, even if I go fast, is basically zero. Yeah. I may have one bad shot, but I won't have. Two. Playing this that numbers, it does. And playing this numbers game while I'm shooting the stage of this one I engage in the head, this one I do two on, this one I engage in the head, this is when I reload, this is how many steps I take till I get to the next mat. I just, I don't play that game. It's, just, I mean, it's not wrong. It's right. a, it's but a, you're not used to it. It's a valid strategy. you don't do it well. And it's not what I do. And so therefore I suddenly have these two little, you know, dogs fighting in my head about how to shoot the stage. Do I go with my normal inertial way of doing it, which would have been just shoot everything and move on? Or do I play this one headshot? And I tried. And I said, I pet the cat against the grain and it bit me. Well, this is my third stage this so far out of the nine that have not been optimal. So nothing's been a, nothing for me has been a dumpster fire, but nothing's been optimal so far. I think you're holding yourself to too high of a standard. Your stage two is pretty freaking yeah, nice. Yeah, I, I, it doesn't feel right. So I, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. We still got again six more to go, but uh, we're 33 percent through this. And right now, my feeling is meh. Yeah, I'm just judging myself, but you know what? I can't go into the next stage that way, I just gotta shoot the next stage. Yep. So, the next stage is a different stage, and that's one of the things we talk about here. Gotta let, just gotta let this run off and shoot the next one, and, and I'm, uh, what I'm not gonna do is uh, shoot it differently than how I wanna shoot it. I'm just gonna just do it. Yeah. So, stay tuned for uh, stage four.